Today we are going to discuss the Israel-Hezbollah conflict, difficult times for Israeli border residents yet to prevail, and the global impacts of Israel-Hamas war. Let us start. Cross-border skirmishes between Israel and Hezbollah have surged in recent weeks, raising questions about the impact on residents in the border areas. The escalation of tensions between Israeli troops and Hezbollah has turned Kiryat Shamona, a town in the northern Israel near the Lebanon border, into a virtual ghost town over the past three months. Following the attacks by Hamas in southern Israel on October 7, the Israeli government ordered the evacuation of Kiryat Shamona and all villages within 3.5 kilometers of the border. This directive displaced at least 85,000 people with the uncertainty of when they can return home, lingering three months into the Gaza conflict. Speculations about a major war against Hezbollah are rife in the Israeli media, with Israeli army chief Herzi Halvi acknowledging the increased likelihood of such a conflict in the coming months. Hezbollah deemed more dangerous than Hamas. Tunnels discovered by the Israeli army in 2018, extending from southern Lebanon to Israeli communities, further underscored the threat. Northern residents have reluctantly accepted that returning home is not imminent, given Hezbollah's proximity to the border. The toll of the conflict includes nine soldiers and six Israeli civilians killed, primarily by anti-tank missile fire. The Israeli army estimates that Hezbollah possesses around 150,000 precision guided missiles aimed at the country. With growing tensions, concerns about the Israel-Hamas war spreading across the Middle East are mounting, though diplomacy is currently being pursued, but the fear of a spillover into Lebanon persists as the situation on the Red Sea also escalates. The Israel-Hamas war has gone has global repercussions, particularly in the Middle East. Immediate impacts are expected in the region, notably on Israel's attempt to normalize relations with the Arab world. Without addressing the Palestinian issue, Saudi Arabia, previously on the path to normalization with Israel, might now seek concessions for the Palestinians to avoid backlash from its population and the broader Muslim world. Additionally, Saudi Arabia and the UAE are likely to take a less assertive stance against Iran and its proxies due to their rapprochement with Iran and anti into BRICS as seen in the Red Sea conflict. Beyond the Middle East, Ukraine stands out as one of the major losers. The suffering in Ukraine is no longer perceived as exceptional and the images from Gaza evoke comparable heartbreak as Ukraine relies on international support for its survival any diversion of attention from its struggles is concerning. Furthermore, the escalation of the Israel-Hamas war involving Iran, including choking of Babul Mandiv state, could impact oil prices and make it costlier for the West to maintain sanctions on Russian energy. The European Union, initially united after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, is now divided in its response to Israel-Hamas conflict. The divergent votes on a United Nations resolution for a ceasefire in Gaza highlight this unity. China's swift support for the Palestinians contrasts with its neutral stance after Russia's invasion of Ukraine forming part of its outreach to the global south. However, President Biden faces a delicate situation. Balancing priorities in the face of Israel-Hamas conflict, the conflict must be resolved swiftly to avoid further escalation. Once Israel hostages are released, a serious push for a political solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict becomes imperative as the only way to ensure Israel's long-term security. Thank you very much for listening.